Take a nice deep breath and let it go. Take another deep breath and as you exhale, let go of any tension. Let go of anything that's bothering you. So you don't need to be disturbed right now. You're free to be open for an inner journey. And as you allow yourself to breathe normally, and as you follow your imagination, just allow yourself to enter into a state of relaxation while remaining alert. We're going on an inner journey. All you need to do is relax, follow the sound of my voice, and allow your imagination to take you wherever it wants to go. Start by imagining a peaceful scene in nature. It could be any place you like. It could be any place you already know. Any place you like. It might be somewhere you've always wanted to go. Perhaps it's a place that only lives in your imagination. Let the creativity of your consciousness guide you. This peaceful place could be by a stream, near a meadow, in a pristine forest, in the mountains, by the ocean shore, wherever you find natural beauty. It could even be under the ocean, or on a cloud, or a distant planet, or in the galaxy. There are no limits. You only need to imagine it. Just now, allow this beautiful scene to emerge inside of your awareness. As you find yourself arriving at your special place, pause a moment to take in the beauty. Breathe it in. Let it come in through your pores. There's a vibration that you have that's electrical. Allow this energy of your being to harmonize with the energy coming from the beauty in this place. Begin to get acquainted. Begin to discover what this place is all about. Allow yourself to notice what is present. To be aware through your senses. So you see keenly and hear all the sounds. Your senses are alive. So you smell and you can touch, taste. You feel the sun shining, radiating upon you. You're aware of the water that's near and the form it takes. Your vision can go far, seeing the planets, the stars. It can be up close, it can move far away. Just notice what is present. Now as you tune to that sound that is in this place, allow yourself to harmonize so you expand. that your body is connecting to the sound, vibrating to the sound. And more and more, you're aware of no limits, nothing that stops you or restricts you. And just pay attention again to any specific sounds that you might hear. It might be the wind, it might be the birds, sound of waves or water. 
What do you hear? There's a scent in the air. What is that you smell? Just be aware. If there's many blends of scents, be aware of each one and what the source is. And as you remain alert, you're aware of the serenity of this place. And there's an awareness of what is present for you that transcends what you see or sense. And you realize this place is especially connected to who you are, that you are about to build a sanctuary, which is a place reflecting your true self, connecting to you all of what you are, all of your elements, all of your potential, all of your experience throughout your existence. In this place, it all integrates in a beautiful harmony and balance. And you're aware of the presence of the spirit, that consciousness that is of the divine. And as you realize this presence of the spirit, there are answers, there's knowledge, there is resolution. So you are opening to the inner wisdom, the natural knowing of your being. You are aware that this place is always, and now you are simply becoming more aware of this sanctuary. At this time, you're using your creative imagination to build it more fully so that you can appreciate the form and the nature of this sanctuary. So you can see the type of structure you would like. And it's all right to play with that structure so this form can change right before you instantly to give you new ideas new dimensions. And you find there's a simplicity in this form that resonates in every way as an integration of truth and love. And whatever form it takes, whether it is grand and magnificent or intimate, and quite simple. Let that form be what it is. And the materials that are present that make that form, see them. They're the ones you recognize from the earth, perhaps in forms that are far beyond anything you have ever seen. And there's light, magnificent light, radiating in many shades. And you're aware of this color that is integrated and dynamic so that it is alive. And as you continue to build this sanctuary, you are tapping into marvelous powers, powers that are beyond your own conception, that it is an attunement that you are awakening to and invoking in this process of building the sanctuary. And now you enter the main structure of the sanctuary so that you stand on what is the floor or that form that holds you up 
and aware of the materials of the floor and the form. Again, whatever materials there are, whether they be of the nature of wood or stone or of something that is beyond the elements of the earth. Just be aware of what you see and how you experience it. And you're aware of the dimensions that go above, creating what might be walls or windows and ceilings and roofs. Just let your creativity reveal these forms and how they integrate and connect. And you're aware of the texture of the materials, whether they're warm to the touch or cool, hard or soft, and the energy that transmits from you to whatever you experience. And what comes to you from the touch, what you see, what you hear, This sanctuary is your creativity and your imagination can guide you. And as you're aware of the walls, you're aware of how they take form and there is a function so that things can be isolated for a purpose. So there may be rooms or sections that you understand the purpose, the nature. It could be for work. It could be for play and entertainment. It could be as a place where people come together, a place for just you. So there is privacy, there's protection, there's freedom and openness. And in everything, you find great beauty. You're also aware of the hand that brings meaning. It could be something that represents art to you, or science, or wisdom. You could see things that are about who you are with what you have done in your life experience. So there could be mementos, symbolic things. It could be things that are gifts from others to you. Things that represent achievement what you have established for yourself. Just take in all the forms, all the elements, every aspect of your sanctuary. And you are the artist. You determine what the form is and if there is any changes, you're the one to put them in place. And now you take a position outside the sanctuary where you can look upon it and appreciate its whole form. So what do you see? What are the dimensions, the colors, the shapes, the relationships to design and purpose? And around the sanctuary, is also a most beautiful natural environment that reflects to you your own beauty, your creativity, the tranquility of this place, and the harmony with nature 
So there are living things that are part of this place, and yet there is no harm. There is no need to fear. So whatever is here is present like a friend and a gift. There's a place that represents the main entry to the sanctuary. It could be a simple door or an opening that is especially connected to you and you determine when the entry is open and when it is closed. It may be very beautiful and ornate, so there could be gems and wonderful designs and materials. There could be a bridge that extends and goes away. There can also be a welcoming that is part of the entry, so that whenever someone enters, including you, there's a beautiful, clear, diamond white light cascading down from the threshold of the door. And it always welcomes you. And there's a sound that can be heard when you enter the sanctuary. That's about you coming home, that this is your place. This is your center. This is your kingdom. And there's a very special way that you activate this entrance, whether it's a key, a button, something that recognizes you in a particular way and just responds to your presence. As you are once again inside the sanctuary, you just take in the elements, the forms, the various locations or rooms that you see. And you notice that there are particular aspects to the sanctuary that are useful to you to recognize. There is an information retrieval system this is a mechanism or a device or some kind of technology that allows you to retrieve knowledge, inner knowledge, answers, guidance. If this information is for the highest good of all concerned, it will be made known to you. And so you have access to whatever you are prepared to know. And you may find it's a, like a library or a special location where you can see a screen. There may be computer-like devices, or maybe it's magical. So it's more like what a wizard might do to access the information. But just now you've noticed this screen that can show you anything that you want to see and explain things for you. And when the screen is not working, it is simply blank. And when it is functioning, it is bounded by a white light that lets you know it's on and available to you. And right now you could just see on the screen anything you want that is letting you know it's time to leave you. So this represents a clearing that you see. It could be an emotional clearing, a physical health clearing, perhaps something that is a memory that it is time for you to let go. So you notice that the screen takes whatever that is, and once it is on screen, with the white light around it, there is a clearing action so that what you see is what is present when whatever has appeared to you is clear. And you notice the impact 
the effect that you have by having this clearing experience. And you can be aware of how this can assist with others. So you could see a person and as that light surrounds them on the screen, there is a clearing. And you're aware of the results of that clearing by what you see on the screen. And you can activate this screen by some mechanism, some physical cue if you like. It could be a, a voice command, a direct look from your eye. It could be something physical like the snap of your fingers. So you're just aware of how you access this screen. And whatever appears on the screen is there for a light action. And as that light surrounding the screen is on and radiating, there is always clearing. So you can take this pause to access whatever needs clearing on the screen. And you notice how quickly the screen works. The clearing is instantaneous. And as you come into an understanding as a result of the clearing, you experience gratitude. You're aware that you are becoming brighter and clearer and your eyes are more clear in how they can see and your heart is more open and relaxed. Your consciousness increases with joy, abundance and happiness. Your presence, your countenance is beautiful, radiating a wonderful energy toward all. That you are beginning to behold your true self, to be aware of what is true in your heart and how you can express the truth in your heart. You know, whenever you want to improve a situation, you simply look to the screen and see whatever that situation reveals to you and the light surrounds it and brings it into resolution and always improves what can be done for the highest good of all concerned. What a wonderful tool. And now you find a place in your sanctuary that's about abilities and you see all the materials, the clothes, the equipment, whatever goes with that ability. And this is a place like a closet or even a warehouse that has all these abilities. And whatever ability you would like to experience, you simply go to the place where the materials, the equipment that are part of that ability are located and you put them on. And when you do, you have that ability. You can do what you want to do and do it well 
with excellence, with grace, and you find you manifest with patience, graciousness, and inner balance. And you try in another ability, some form of self-expression. If you'd like more humor, you can have that ability. If you'd like to do something in a masterful way, you can have that ability and experience yourself. There are no limits here. All things are possible. And whatever ability you try on, it fits you perfectly. And you can put on a new ability. This could be a mental ability, an emotional ability. And again, you experience that you have the mastery to do whatever ability is present for you. And this ability suit location is always part of your sanctuary. And now you move about your sanctuary to a location where you can go to relax and be aware. It's a very quiet place so that if you are ever troubled or have stress, when you go into this relaxation room, the troubles leave you and any stress is replaced by ease and a sense of relaxation, deep, deep relaxation. And this is a wonderful place to be aware of the spirit, to allow your attunement to the sound of God, the names of God, to the images of God, and to whatever is present with God at this time. So you have spiritual attunement in this place. And you find there's a still point. Whenever you stand in that point or sit at that point, you are in perfect harmony. And your consciousness expands and opens to the awareness of God's creation and to the universe. And it's a place where you can go to daydream, to wonder, to contemplate. To even have no thoughts. That your thoughts sail away like distant ships on clouds. Or you may find a very soothing music is playing. Or perhaps there's a fire in the fireplace. Or the gentle sound of water moving. And what you see inspires you, makes you realize the beauty, the wonder, the magnificence of all of creation. And it is a place where masters can visit you, those who bring in a sacred presence, which can be very joyful and even fun. There is a sweetness and a softness in this place it helps you realize how tender your heart is and the heart of God. So you take a moment to 
take this tenderness and sweetness into your being, into the deepest part of you. That when you breathe, you breathe in the sweetness and tenderness that is the compassion of the divine. And you breathe out a love of all of creation. And in the centeredness that you experience, this profound serenity of your being, you once again move within your sanctuary to the place that we will call the people mover, for it's simply a place for people to move right into your sanctuary, that they can come whenever you invite them. And as would be, for the highest good of all concerned. And you are the only one to make this people mover activated. And so now you can see that you have activated this people mover. So a master teacher is coming into your sanctuary and you experience the intimacy of knowing a great true friend and so you greet them and welcome them with that sense of being together at long last, that you have a union, a deep recognition and knowing with who they are. And they even more know you, understand you, love and respect you. You take a moment to look into their eyes and let them gaze deeply upon you. That something quite magnificent comes through their eyes to you. And though you might tremble with the energy, you cannot help be open to receive, to take this connection in as a union of who you are together and the oneness of the spirit. Now you take a moment to just sit comfortably together. No words are required, but if you speak or if you are spoken to, it comes with great ease and you love what you hear, you love what you have to say, being aware that there's no intimation, there's no sense of being in a pretense or in any way blocked. There is complete freedom of expression and understanding. This master teacher is opening you to share more deeply by their presence, by their profound understanding and appreciating of who you are, and their compassion is compelling so that there has been something that has been a deep secret, something that you perhaps have not wanted to share or or want to be known, that you can share this openly with absolute trust. And you find there is compassion, there is empathy, and there's a releasing and healing of whatever can be balanced. So your mind is clarified. Your sense of yourself is purified and made whole again. And you know the burdens have lifted, that it was you who chose to carry them because of misunderstandings or judgments. And that is no longer necessary in this presence. You feel so light so free 
and true to yourself. And whatever counsel and guidance is here for you from this master teacher, you take it in. Take it in so deep that you'll always remember and have it as an inner reference of who you are and what your purpose is. You absorb completely the wisdom of their knowledge that you can recognize the truth, letting go so that you are moving your consciousness to a deeper level, a more profound experience of who you are. In every way, there's loving. There's this profound presence of loving for you. And in the loving is an unconditional acceptance. And whatever has been held as a judgment is forgiven so that you experience the letting go, the gratitude, the grace, the ease. And now the master teacher is about to present a gift for you. And it is something that you can reach out with your hands to take hold of. And there is a gold and purple light that shines upon this gift. Somehow illuminating what it is for you. And now that gift is revealed so you can behold it. But you find that there is a symbol in this gift that represents many things to you and is precious to your heart, precious to your soul. There is a place in this sanctuary for this gift to be placed so that it will be there from now on. And you will be reminded of your beauty and your preciousness. So you put the gift in its place. And the master teacher is about to leave. And perhaps you want them to stay. And yet you understand there's a purpose in their coming and their going. And you understand. Whenever you're asked, their presence can come to you. And as you are open and aware, they can make their presence revealed and visit you. And so they leave by that people mover that is activated and you see a special light with them. That is your gift that you bring from your own consciousness of light. And it's a particular color that it would be especially best for them. So they're surrounded in this light. Moving off in love and gratitude from you. And it's time for you to leave this sanctuary. You take one more look around to take in what you have created. That you remind yourself of the information retrieval system. the closet of the ability suits, the sacred relaxation room, the people mover, and all the beauty and creativity that is present. And you activate the entryway, and as you go through, that brilliant diamond white light cascades upon you surrounding you, protecting you, and filling you. And as you step outside the sanctuary, you look back, you behold the magnificence of this creation, 
the connection reflecting perfectly upon who you are, that there is a sacredness, there is also joy and a sense of fulfillment. Now you are going to be more aware of your presence in your body and wherever your body is located. And you gently allow the image of the sanctuary to dissolve, knowing it is present inside as you bring your awareness to what is outside, to this place, to your presence here in your body. You take a nice deep breath, letting go just to be more present in the body. And another nice deep breath. And your hands and feet may move a little bit. Toes and fingers may wiggle. That you are coming more present in the body, more conscious about what you hear and see around you in this place. And one more nice deep breath in and let a little sigh out. And then as you're ready, you open your eyes, find yourself present here, and still aware that inside you is a sacred sanctuary. Beirush Beishan. God bless you all.